Hey everyone, I just wanted to make this quick video about my aquarium to show you what I've done. I've moved some of my stuff around. Um, if you remember right on my other videos, I uh, had the protein skimmer in the side of the tank there and I moved it back. So it frees up a lot of space for me there. Um, I also wanted to make this video uh, to see if you guys can help me with some classifications. But before we go through that, let me show you what's going on here. I, uh, I had this uh, starburst coral here up there on the left by the, or on the right by the uh, leather coral and I had that rock with the yellow button polyps on it moved up where the starburst coral is um, um, I had this rock here down here on the uh, sand and this whole rock was moved actually this coral is on the sand, this rock was moved over from the left to where the starburst coral is and uh, I it has, still has the uh, tropic coral attached or candy cane attached and then I took the mushroom that was on with the candy cane coral which is here and uh, I'm going to move it somewhere else, I haven't decided yet and then I got this new one, the frilly mushroom, I got it for $15 which is a great buy I think they originally run like 20 or 30, I'm not sure on that, so don't quote me. I got, um, this rock was moved, um, can't even see it very well. Hold on one second here. That's what I hate about, I need to get better cameras. Cause you can't see that very well, but anyways, it has some, uh, Zoanth is growing on it. And it fell off the rock up on top where the uh, starburst coral is. I guess that's a starburst and this is a star polyp. And then I got these clove polyps that are they're green and blue. You can't really see the colors in them with this camera, unfortunately. And then we got um, else. I think that's pretty much it of everything I moved around. But right in there is what I needed help with identification. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can get a little closer to it. See it right there on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it very well with this camera. I don't know, there's there's some more growing down on the sand. Not in the sand, off the rock, but they're growing through the sand. There's some kind of polyp. They have uh, bubble tips like um, anemones do, the bubble tip anemone. But it's not an anemone, I don't think. And then we have this stuff growing on the rock here. It's growing up on the rocks in the back also. That's pretty much what with the classification. I just need to know what that stuff is. Growing on the rock. If you can tell what it is with this stupid camera. And what that is growing over there. And I was also wanting to get some ideas for a new fish. I got a clownfish. Um. I just don't know what else to get with him. I haven't an idea at all. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Bubble coral doesn't look too hot today.
But anyways, that's about it with the uh, corals here. Nothing new, nothing really, really new anyways. Um, looks like a crab got into that. I wonder if he's stuck. But anyways, that's it for the tank today. Like I said, I just wanted to get some help with the classification. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later.